Hello, this is Jim McDonald, and I am the Forge Rock Practice Director here at Identropy. Today, I'd like to demonstrate the powerful, responsive end-user interface we've developed to help demonstrate the power of Forge Rock's OpenIDM platform. We call this the Identropy User Experience, or IUX for short. In today's demo, we will be working with a fictitious company called Digisys Networks. Digisys Networks is in the business of selling networks to their clients, and the application we will be using today is the user management tool for their dealer portal. We've created this demo UI to help our clients get a jump start on their OpenIDM implementation. We can provide this starting point as the basis for a solution for our clients in our hosted cloud or in their on-prem environment or private cloud. I'm going to cover two use cases today. First, I'm going to log in as a quote, office administrator named Gene Hernandez. Gene is an administrator for all users in the Sao Paulo branch office of Digisys Networks. Gene will be logging in from her laptop computer with the intent to create a new account for a temporary worker who will begin with Digisys Networks next week. The user she will create is Amanda Jenkins. In the second use case, I will log in as Joe Jackson. Joe is a member of the Customer Care Help Desk and can manage any user in the system. To demonstrate the responsive nature of the IUX, Joe will perform this use case from his iPhone. Joe will search for Amanda Jenkins' account and grant her access to an application. Now for use case number one, we have used a modern looking login page, customized to help establish the brand message that Digisys Networks is seeking to convey. This login page can be used across their dealer portal and can be integrated with OpenAM for single sign-on. Now, let me log in as Gene. The first thing you will notice is a pretty basic landing page. What is currently there is a dashboard for notifications and tasks. By default in OpenIDM, tasks are used to let the logged in user know that a workflow such as an access approval or access review has reached them for action. They would also have received an email alerting them to the task. Notifications would include non-workflow messages. An example would be that the logged in user must change their password within the next week. This is just a sample dashboard and the UI can be modified to use the dashboard for whatever our clients want, including widgets that are inside or outside the scope of identity management. Gene's first task is to create a new user named Amanda Jenkins. For that, she will click on Create in the left navigation bar. That will bring up the Create User screen and Gene will enter Amanda's basic information. When Gene clicks Save, an alert message will inform her that Amanda's account has been created. Amanda will now receive an email with information on how to activate her new account. Now, let's have Gene click the Logout button so we can log in as Joe from the Customer Care Help Desk. In the second use case, Joe Jackson from Customer Care will log in. Remember, Joe is a super administrator, meaning he can manage any user in the system. We also have the concept of delegated administration baked into the IUX, which allows us to constrain the logged in user to only see and manage a subset of the total population of users. Delegated administration will be a topic for a future video. As I mentioned, Joe will log into IUX using his iPhone. To demonstrate that, I will use the developer tools and Google Chrome to simulate an iPhone 6. Watch as I log in as Joe. You can see it shows Joe's photo to indicate he is the user that is currently logged in. To access the menu, Joe will click the hamburger icon in the upper left. You'll see that clicking the icon brings up a menu similar to the desktop version of the IUX. For this use case, Joe will click Request. This brings up the Request screen. Joe clicks Select the Users and searches for Amanda Jenkins' account. When her account is returned in the search, he selects her. The next step is to select applications to grant Amanda. Let's give Amanda SAP access. Finally, Joe can give Amanda attributes required by SAP and then review his request and submit it. In future videos, we will demonstrate our reporting capabilities as well as other user management and SSO integration use cases. Thank you for watching.